13.
I'm lying here with you like this, touching you. It's like it's sort of an electric current that radiates from all over you because you're so alive. And what was I talking about? What was that trying to say? You're talking about the elevator. Right. I was going to say that when I'm lying here with you like this, it all seems so far away. It's like lying in bed and listening to the sea. There may be deaths and storms and shipwrecks and things out there, but they're far away. And they can never touch us. I wish you could be a good old Smith. Girl, I'm sorry. Poor oh, boy. I thought all sorts of cool things, and I just wanted to know what you were doing. I imagined you getting desperate and bringing in somewhere and getting locked up and I don't know what. Well, I could have gotten some stuff for me. How do you mean, Joe? How? Who? The one that's still there, Lily. She would love to hear talking to me about it. Does she know how broke we are? We owe her two weeks' rent. No, nah, she won't be able to sum. What do you mean, Joe? You know. Do you mean to tell me that that old lady has been up here after you again? I knew something was the matter. Did you, what did you tell her? I told her to get the hell out of here. What do you think I told her? I said it was awful stuff. Oh, Joe. Well, I didn't want so much back then. She came here about 12 o'clock and put it up to me. If we had any other place on earth, we could go. We would have got out of this place the night she first came up here and bothered you, but we didn't have anywhere else to go, and she'd hold our things until we paid her, and I haven't got a dollar to deposit on her room, but I suppose she knows all that. That's what I want to talk to you about. She's going to kick us out. Kick us out? That's what she says. Unless... Unless what? Well, I've been thinking pretty hard about how I put it up to you. If you think it's worthwhile, you can keep the room on and have a place to sleep, you see? No, what are you talking about? Well, I think the old lady's reasonable. She made a big fuss about how she was gone and all that, and how we were living in her house and not paying no rent, and how if I was too good for her, see, we'd have to get out of her house. That's all. That was after she offered me the girl. Joe, am I mad? What are you talking about? Well... Never let me hear that again. Do you think I'd let you? Well, I'll let you, don't I? That's all together. It doesn't matter. I can't argue about God, it's hot in here. Now look here, kid. I gotta live here. You're a slow, slow growing pill you've ever had and all that. I'm awful fond of you. But we gotta live, we gotta do something, we gotta get some money somehow. If we can't be getting on the way we can get on, then I just gotta shift myself, see? You bring this up to you square, because I'm going to be sure. Of course we got to do something, but I'll do something. I'll make some money somehow. You don't understand. If it was the last night we ever spent together under a roof, it wouldn't alter the question. My God, it looks like the last night of luck you're having. If I could do any kind of job, it'd be different. But the stuff's got me, I guess. I can no longer, no longer hang on to a job and I could fly. If I could, do, if I could get back in the ring, I, you think I'd have to work it? But work against me, that's all. As long as you can bring me the dough. All right. But since you ain't having luck, and I just got to do it, that's all. If I can allow you to go out every night, I'll see why you can one of these around me. Joe, you don't understand. You don't love me the way I do you. It's not your fault. It's just the way you're made. And I can go out, as you call it, but it's a sort of sacrifice to you to show you how much I love you. And it's not about me. It's about you. You're the queen part of me. The part that I live for. And you're sacred, do you understand? Queen. Sure, I agree too. I think a whole lot more of you than you think. Go on, tell me you love me. I love to hear you say it. I love you, all right. I've always been true to you. But we just gotta get some money. We gotta live, ain't we? No, you haven't, Joe. You don't understand. I, I'd rather die, I'd rather starve to death, or, or let you starve to death, but that horrible old slut, I think I'll kill her! You don't have to be her. You know, there's more than one way of being money in this town. How do you mean, Joe? Well, I guess it's the only way I see it. I got nothing but my looks. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> don't talk like that, please. I got you, kid. It's the only way I see it. 
and only fair to you. I think none of your mouth and only record two or three days as you did. Will you keep out here today? What the hell can we do? Sleep in the park? I guess not. I don't want, not want to have a way of being easy money. Why can't you just see the notes and try to speak to me? It's just easy, I tell you. There's good money in it. I don't want to talk about it. Especially with you. So we got you. We can all sit together. Think about it. We could have a nice room somewhere. We could have a little bit of stuff on hand all the time. I don't want to do it, kid. But I just got to have the stuff. It's gone past four days now. You're a strange boy. Can't you see that you're the only thing I have left in this world? Sure, I get you. You belong to me, and I saved you from this very thing, I suppose, a year ago. And you were down and out, done for. Don't you see that? Sure. Oh, come on, Jim, can you listen to me? I don't want to do it, but we got you to live. But we don't. Don't you understand that? I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole afterwards. Don't you see that? Sure, I get you. We can bust up as far as that goes. But that's all you see me as. Oh, Joe. I've always been straight with you. I treat you right all the way. I'm trying to stick by you. But sure, if that's the way you feel about it, I gotta live here. No. What do you mean by no? I don't see any reason why we should live. Well, I don't live. Joe, listen, you've been a wonderful boy, and I love you as very few people have ever been loved in this world, but I lost everything when I found you. Everything. And you've had to be the whole world for me since. The whole world, there isn't anything else. And when the dope caught me, I just went down because I didn't care about anything. I gave up my job, and I let myself slide. And I intended to kill myself when the money ran out, but I didn't even care how much I had left. And then I found you that night at Mitchell's place. I remember. I can't remember much. I can't bear to think of you beat up. You were so full of it, you didn't even know your arm was broken. That's right. It was broken two or three days before that. I met, I remember when we went. Since then, Joe, we've had a wonderful time. Do you remember when we used to had to sleep under the bridge? I love that old bridge now because it's associated in my mind with you. We had some good times, all right, kid? And now, the white sails of our ship are furled and the stempelating of our arcs is the coup to end of our tether, Joe. Um. You say we don't go on with it. What do you mean, don't go on with it? Let's turn on the gas. Nits, that's crazy. Not mine. Come on, Joe. We've had a wonderful time, and we've known everything there is to know in the world worth knowing, but don't let's go downhill. We've reached the top. Let this be the end. You must be king. Oh, come on. No. I've never been more serious in my life. I can't go on with it, and I won't leave you behind to live without me. This may be the last we will ever have together. The last night we'll spend together. Let's turn on the gas now, and we won't have to wake up in the morning and be bothered. I don't want to, kid. You might have to kill yourself. Are you afraid to die? Well, sure, I'm not afraid to die. Well, what have you got to live for? Well, a lot of things, I guess. Joe, you've slipped. You've slipped further than I thought. I don't think I'm that bad off. You're pretty bad off, Joe. Don't you see? Your life is over? That you're nothing? You're less than nothing. What you really are is the lowest thing that can be on earth, and here you talk calmly about something even worse. Your only reason to go on living is your fear of death. I don't get you. I just can't face the daylight again, Joe. I'm too tired. Aren't you tired? What will become of you without me to take care of you? I don't know. Now, you don't have to wake up in the morning and be bothered, and you can't tell, maybe, but I believe that you're scared. I'll try and goddamn guess. I'll show you you're scared. Oh, Joe. Did you turn it off? Yeah, I'm just. 
Stay alive. 